Hey everyone, welcome back. We're back in the powder coat booth today, and this is what we got going. We are gonna be three color powder coating these inner fenders to a Jeep JK, and it is gonna be freaking rad. Let me show you what we're doing. Now, these are the inner fenders to that build as well, and what we're gonna be doing is the stripes of these inner fenders are gonna be an illusion red from Prismatic Powders. We've used it in the past, it's a beautiful color. However, it takes two steps to get the color you need, so it's a lot of work. This is gonna be a super mirror blue, and the rest of this, as we get challenging, is all gonna be black. So we're gonna have a combination of tape and vacuuming going on in these pieces right here. So a little bit of a challenging piece. We're gonna start with the red, um, and we're gonna tape off probably the hard lines that we don't want to get near with the vacuum, at least at this point. And then the rest of it, we can just blow off and vacuum off as we go. Now the back of these inner fenders, they can be all black. They don't have to be the same color both sides. So that part there makes it easy. So what we got is we got a heat resistant tape. We're gonna start, we're gonna lay some tape on. Uh, one's a little more flexible than the other and trim it off and lay down the red. So, so we're set up for our first stage of color. This section here is gonna be the illusion red. And what I've done is I've taped around the very perimeter, some real hard, sharp lines there, right where we want the red to flow out to. And again, this will be blue and the rest will be black. What we'll do is we'll, we'll hit this area with the red and any extra we get on this, we can actually just blow off, vacuum off, whatever. Um, there's different ways you could do this. You don't have to even tape it. If you wanted to use a micro vacuum and really spend some time vacuuming it off, you could do it that way as well. There's many different ways to skin a cat. So I'm not gonna say this is the only way or the right way, but this is just the way I decided to go with this one. So I'll get the other one in and then we can spray the red. That illusion red looks like, this is it right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful color, but it's a two-step process. It requires a clear and honestly goes on orange and looks orange until you clear coat it. So it's kind of crazy, but bear with me. So I'm gonna lay that on now. We'll load it up in the gun and put that on. All right, we got the gun loaded up. Like I said, it does look orange. Our Hypersmooth O3 LED from Columbia Coatings that we use here in the shop. And as you can see, we just laid it on and it's very orange. So what I'm gonna do now, where I don't want the orange, uh, I'm gonna vacuum it off. So we got some different attachments for the vacuum. The back we're not concerned with, because honestly, it's gonna be all black anyway. So I'm not worried about the back. So let's get the front cleaned off, at least mostly cleaned off, because again, the black will go over that. So it's, it's a process micro vacuum here and we just simply go around where we don't want the red as you can see it takes a little while but it isn't bad it's just one of those things that if there's a little residue left behind that's okay because like I said the blue will go over this and then the black over this area here so like it's not horrible but it's it's time consuming very time consuming all right we're all cleaned off at least for the most part we got our oven set to 375 they're going to go in the oven until the powder flows out and then you count two minutes beyond that so it's not a full cure as you can see it's just enough to get the powder to flow out and as you will see it's going to look even more orange and not even as nice in about five minutes but then the real color comes out with the clear all right they are out of the oven and as you can see, very orange and kind of like flat for a finish. Not flat, but satin. Not that attractive, but stand by because the clear's going on next and that is what makes all the difference. All right, here we go. We just laid on the clear. So again, everything looks white, but that orange is underneath there. We'll vacuum off where we don't want it. Put it back in the oven, this time for 20 minutes at, at uh, 375. And that's when you're gonna see the red. All right, guys, we got the uh, inner fender pieces back in the oven with the clear on them. Now, like I said, that's 20 minutes. However, as soon as that flow is out, it's still gonna look orange, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out of the oven. I'm gonna peel the tape off while it's still hot, then put them back in the oven and give it its final cure. That'll allow the lines to kind of smooth out where we taped them off. Then we move on to the blue. All right, as you can see, the clear has now flowed out, just, just flowed out. We're gonna peel this tape off while it's still hot. And I'm gonna put the camera down so I can do this without making a mess. <laughs> All right, there's the red. As I told you, it definitely looks a lot different once it's flowed out. It's a beautiful color. So now we're going to tape this off and hit the blue with the super mirror blue, and then we can work into our final stages of the black. All right, here we go. Rinse and repeat. We're into the blue, and we'll vacuum off all the overspray, let it flow out, pull it off, with, pull the tape off before it actually completely flows out, and we go to black. All right, super mirror blue has been laid on. We're going to vacuum out around it. Throw them in the oven, let it flow out, pull it out, peel our tape, and then full cure it onto the black. 
Yeah, that there is the Super Mirror Blue, and it's a beautiful, bright color blue, too, from Columbia Coatings. Again, we use mostly their stuff. That red, however, um, again, it's in the oven. I can't really show you, but I did some small parts, too, and this is the Illusion Red right here. Uh, this is a prismatic color. I do love that color. It is my favorite color that they put out. But the blue is in there now, and then it's on to the black, and we're going to have a final product. All right, here we go. Out of the oven. Now they're starting to look like something. See the red and the blue. Now, this is going to have a white backer on it. He has a solid white backer, so keep that in mind. That's what's going behind all that. Now we're going to start let these cool, tape everything off, and then we're going to go to black, and these are going to look damn nice. All right, last piece of the puzzle. We got the fronts all taped, not the backs. We're going to lay on that black and then clean off the excess, and this should be it, I hope. All right, so the black, the last step has just flowed out. So these are very hot and I'm just gonna go ahead and start peeling this tape off. And then the hard edge seams can start to flow out. But again, I gotta put this camera down because I'm burning my hand. Uh, but as you can see, that's satisfying or it's very depressing when you see a mistake. So I'm <laughs> gonna get it peeled off. All right, tape is peeled. Uh, we got a little bit we can trim up with a razor blade. Not a big deal, we can do that when it comes out of the oven. Um, but all in all, they look pretty darn good. We're going to put these in the oven and let things flow out the way they should and finish curing. And then I'll show you the final product, but I'm pretty happy with this. It's going to look pretty killer on that Jeep. All right, there we have, they are out of the oven and completely done. We got the blue, the red, and the black luster on these bad boys. And they came out pretty rad. And he's got a white plate behind, put behind that now as well. So pretty happy with that overall. Everybody's gonna get it covered in mud and it's a Jeep, but you know what? It looks pretty damn cool right now. All right, I was gonna try to do, or I'm gonna try to do some more of these videos from the powder coat booth, because it's a lot of the business as far as what we do. We do a lot of custom powder coating, the real detailed stuff. Um, not so much the big commercial things, so we're not set up for that. Um, but we do a fair amount of powder coating. Um, just finished a complete interior over there in a beautiful, um, like a, I guess a gunmetal-ish color. This is really cool. But anyway, 